How's it going guys? Gamer here coming at you with a quick rundown on how to access Salt and Sanctuary's very fun, much cool co-op mode. First things first, the person that you are playing with is going to have to have their own save file on their own user account on your PlayStation. Once they have their own save file, you can go ahead and make your own character. Now in the character creation screen, when you get to the starting gift, it's listed under effects, but it's essentially a starting gift like it is in Dark Souls. What you're going to want to do is choose the Stone Cell Sword. The Stone Cell Sword will then allow you, once you get to your first sanctuary, to summon a Cell Sword. So you're going to go to your altar and make an offering. Select the Stone Cell Sword. You'll see him appear right there with his little tent. Simply go talk to him. Go to higher. It's going to ask you to push X on player two's controller. Then you're going to have to choose the user account that has the save file of the other player. And simply select them and you are good to go. The co-op in this game is awesome and I love it because you can essentially progress the entire storyline together. So if you pick up items in your player two, it will go onto your save file when you just go and play your game single player. So yeah, that's about it for today, guys. If you have any other questions about Salt and Sanctuary or any other videos you'd like me to make, let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And make sure you check out me and my girlfriend's playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary Co-op. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.